Mark. <clears throat> Welcome to the University of Cincinnati night here at the Touchdown Club. Uh, I'm happy to report that at least as of 10 minutes to 7, University of Cincinnati was part of the Big East. <laughs> Assuming that's the case when we leave tonight, it's probably noteworthy for tomorrow's commercial appeal. I have uh, You'll have to forgive me, I've been a little out of the loop. I was in, in Cleveland all last week. And, uh, you know, Cleveland has three pro sports teams, so uh, college football doesn't garner all that much interest there. It's sort of like Fayetteville. <laughs> how, uh, how many of you uh, went to a college game this weekend? Okay. How, how many went to Fayetteville? How many people? Oh, oh, okay. Was it, was it was it fun? Oh yeah. Roll oh, yeah. yeah. Tide. Roll Tide. Uh, anyone? How about uh, how about UT Florida? Anybody go to UT Florida? How was that? Kind of like old times, wasn't it? You two getting beat by Florida? <laughs> Reminiscent of the Manning days. Uh, how about Old Miss, Texas? How was, how was that? I thought the Bears played the whole game. Pretty impressive. Uh, I myself was at the, uh, the big game of the week. Uh, of course, I'm talking about the Bandy versus the Presbyterian College Blue Hose. Uh, not to get into anything theological, but as Father Biron probably knows, the Presbyterian had no choice or no chance because the outcome was predetermined. <laughs> Uh, I did try to do a little reading when I got back. I, uh, well, first of all, uh, until I got back to Memphis, I thought a fistful of dollars was a Clint Eastwood spaghetti western. Uh, but apparently it's a, a New Mississippi State recruiting technique. <laughs> oh. Oh, goodness. Candidly, I... I I was a little surprised that uh, you could buy a player for a hundred dollars. It's hard to buy a used iPod for a hundred dollars. Uh, but I guess at Mississippi State, that's fairly big money. Uh, at, <laughs> at any rate, uh, with the, the outbreak of this thing, I, I was uh, surprised, or not so surprised really. I saw that our own Roy Adams was quoted extensively in a Jeff Calkins article about illegal recruiting practices in Memphis. Roy, put your hands here, everyone can see. What's the significance of that? Obviously, Jeff knows uh, who to go to for the answers. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd all agree getting Roy's insight on cheating is like interviewing Albert Einstein to learn about relativity. <laughs> Someone much more attractive who's going to tell us about the grid pick results. I'm talking about Lynn, not Dean. Lynn, come on up here and tell us. Uh, you can finish your tea first if you'd like. Please Yay, Lynn! Yay, Lynn! Raise the mic up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, yay, Lynn. We finished last again. Let's have a round of applause for Mr. Cockerham. That must be a singularly unique experience for you being referred to as a winner. <laughs> Whoa. It's, uh, it's now my pleasure to, get to bring up to the microphone uh, Mr. Harold Grader, who's going to introduce our prep players. Harold? 